Hi, welcome to my video on find the equation of a line from a graph. Find the equation from a graph. Well, what I'm going to do now is use, because I have a graph in front of me, I'm going to find a slope by doing the rise over run. Here we go. Okay. Find the slope of a line, find the equation of a line in slope y-intercept form. So y equals mx plus b. So if I look at the graph, I see it's cutting right here. So that's the point, x is 0, y is 1. So the y-intercept is b is 1. The y-intercept is 1. The y-intercept is 1, so that means b is 1 in my equation. And the slope, I'll go from this point to this point. So we go 1, 2, 3. Up three, right two. So the slope is rise over run, and the rise over run is positive three, positive two, because it's up to the right. So the equation of the line is y equals three over two x plus one. Again, I'm doing the slope from looking at the graph. I could do y2 minus y1, write down both ordered pairs and work it out. But I'm just going to use it from the graph because it's easier to see it from the graph. The uh, slope point form, slope point form is y minus y1 equals m outside of x minus x1, where we have a point. The point is x1, y1, and the slope is m. Okay, let's see, we have a point, so we have two points. I have the point x is negative 1, y is 2, or I have the point right here, x is 3, y is 1. So I have two points, I can use either one. So let's find the slope. I can do the slope two ways. I can go from this point to this one, which means I'll always go up. I'll always do a rise first. So I always go, always do my rise as up or down. So from this point to this one, I'll rise one plus one, one, two, three, four. So that's plus one minus four, because up is a plus, left is a minus. So my slope is rise. over run and so I could go plus one minus four or I could go from this point to this one so I will go down one minus one plus four so I could go minus one plus four but either way no matter which way I do it the slope is going to be negative one over four if I go up and to the left, or if we go down and to the right, I still have a slope of negative one quarter. So the point slope form is y minus two, negative one quarter, x plus one. If I use this point, if I use this one, I'll go y minus one equals negative one quarter outside of x minus three. So either equation will do. Third one. Slope x intercept form. So the slope, let's see what the slope is. Slope again is rise over run. And if I go from this point to this one, let's see, I go one, two, three. So the rise is plus three. And the run is one, two, three, four. But as a minus 4, so the slope is a negative 3 over 4. And the x-intercept is negative 1. So the x-intercept is negative 1. So my equation, y equals m times x minus r. Slope is negative 3 quarters. And my x-intercept is negative 1 right there. So that's an x plus 1 when you plug it in. Done change this line to standard form. So this line is a vertical line, sorry, 
a horizontal line. Vertigo is perpendicular up and down. Horizontal line. So a horizontal line is a slope. Horizontal line is a slope of zero. And the equation of a horizontal line is normally you can go y equals three. Because all the y coordinates on this line are three, but the x is changing. X is one, x is two, x is three, zero, negative one. But the y is three on this line. That's the equation of the horizontal line. We could have gone with a, a point and a slope, a y-intercept and a slope. Whatever way, we could have gone y equals mx plus b, whereas our y-intercept is three and the slope is zero. So I could have wrote that down. The slope of this line is zero and the y-intercept is three, there it is. But zero x is the same as zero, so y equals zero x plus three is the same as y equals three. But we want standard form. So standard form means I have to move the x over with the y and three. So there's a standard form. So this is the slope-intercept form with a slope of zero, but most people don't write it that way. Most people write the equation as y equals three. I want in a standard form, and this is not standard form. I have to put the zero x in, and, and there's no negative with the zero. So there's the standard form officially putting the zero x in, making a true standard form. Normally the equation would be y equals three. And we have some practice. Practice means pause the video and work out these equations one at a time to see if you're going to be okay. Find the equation of this line in slope y-intercept form. Well, the slope, again, is rise over run. And let's see. I like to go up, which is 1, 2. So that's a plus 2. And I go left from here up to 1, 2, 3. So that's a minus 3. So that slope is negative 2 over 3. And the y-intercept is my b. My y-intercept is negative 2. Cutting the y-axis at negative 2. So y equals mx plus b. So the slope is negative 2 thirds x. And my y-intercept is negative 2. Notice the y-intercept is negative 2. That means my b is negative 2 in this equation. Point slope form. Point slope form is y minus y1 equals m outside of x minus x1. And again, I need a slope. So the slope is rise over run. And I leave this point and go up to this point. So I'm leaving and going right up to there. And then I move across here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, plus five, because I'm going up. And I'm going one, two, three, four, right. So it was a plus four to the right. So the slope is five over four. Now notice the line is going up to the right, so it's a positive slope. Notice this line is going up to the left, so it's a negative slope. Everything is okay. And I have point slope form, so let's pick a point. Let's pick this point here. X is two, Y is four. And so the equation is Y minus four, five over four with an X minus two. Or I could pick this point here, which is negative 2, negative 1. So if you pick the point negative 2, negative 1, which is this point, you could have the equation as y plus 1, 5 over 4, x plus 2. Again, when you plug the point in to the equation, you change the signs. So x is plus 2, y is plus 1, right here, x is negative 2. Y is negative 4. Change the signs. Number 3, slope x-intercept form. Well, what's the slope? I'm looking at the graph, so it's easiest to do rise over run. So I'm going from here to here. Remember, I can go down 
and to the left. Sorry, I can go down and to the right. So that would be uh, down is negative, right is positive. So we know that's a negative slope. Because the negative slope goes up to the left. Positive slope goes up to the right. So anyway, I like to go up. I like to go up. That's one, two, three. And going left. And all of a sudden going left is negative. So up three. One, two, three, four, five. So it's minus five. So the slope is negative three fifths. And the x intercept is right there. The x intercept is negative three. So the x intercept is negative three. So we have y equals m outside of x minus r. Y equals the slope, negative three fifths. And that's a minus, so it becomes a plus. So there's the equation of the line that slope x intercept form, which is again repeat. I like to look at it. And if I multiply three fifths by both of these, then I get the slope y intercept form. And let's look at the standard form for this line. And this line is a vertical line. And a vertical line, so that's the vertical line. The vertical line, so the slope of this vertical line is undefined. So, if it's undefined, it, you can't put it into the slope by intercept form. The vertical line, all the x's are negative 2. So, x is negative 2 for this equation. x is a negative 2, y keeps changing. So, the standard form is x plus 0y equals negative 2. So, the vertical line cannot go into y equals mx plus b. The vertical line cannot go into point slope form. The vertical line cannot go into slope y intercept form. Reason? Because the slope is undefined. You cannot do any one of these forms for a vertical line because the slope is undefined. So the only equation for a vertical line is x equals a number where it cuts the x axis because the x's are always the same. Again, a review of different equations, forms. And if you like my video, hope you do, click my like button, especially if you learned something new or you practice and review what you did. And you'd like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead if you, and click the notification bell to more videos coming your way. And write a comment if you wish. And www.mathfullyexplained.com is my website. And look at my sections on me. My degrees in teaching experience, a section of video talks about the strategies you're going to use to help you learn your math. And the content section has the topics and the number of videos that I'm going to have on each of those topics. And the black font is what's online right now. And the red font is what will be there in the near future. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you very much for viewing it. Bye-bye.